One of the things that you have learned in this unit number one was the idea of a material property. A fingerprint of a material, some kind of a value which can be used to distinguish one material from another. An example of such a material property is density. In this TSW, you will learn about density and you will also practice measuring density using the PHET simulation on density. What is density? Density is a material property which tells us how compact material is. Density is a way of expressing how close to each other are the atoms in this material. It is defined as mass per volume. If you look at that formula, mass per volume, it tells you that the larger the mass of a given object, the larger will be its density. But the larger the volume of a given mass, the smaller will the density be. So as the denominator is getting larger and larger, density decreases. Whereas as the numerator here is getting larger and larger, density of a given object would increase. There are many different possible units of density. Basically any unit of mass divided by any unit of volume will be a correct unit for density, but the most common units of density are kilograms per meter cube, grams per milliliter, which is the same as gram per centimeter cube, and another very common unit is, is kilograms per liter. When you get to the PHET simulations, select physics and then scroll down to density. It is in alphabetical order, so you, so you shouldn't have problems finding it. Here it is, density. Click on density and then download or run the program on your computer. You don't need to download it, you can just click on run. So this is what will open when you run the program density of the PHD simulations. It is a very nice interactive simulation in which you can investigate density. In this first setting, you are given a block of wood and you are told that the block of wood has a mass of 2 kilograms. You also have this swimming pool, this pool of water, which you know that there is 100 liters of water. To find the density of this block of wood, you need to divide its mass by its volume. You already know its mass, it's 2 kilograms. You don't know its volume though. To find out the volume of the cube, you, may su you can submerge the cube completely into the water and you can see that the, the level of the water has risen up to 105 liters from 100 liters. That tells you that the volume of the water which was displaced is the same as the volume of the cube, in this case 5 liters. So if I wanted to find the density of the wood, I would take the mass, 2 kilograms, and divide it by, by 5 liters. 2 divided by 5 will give you 0.4 kilograms per liter. And here you can see the density is 0.4 kilograms per liter. On this right side, you have several different settings. If you go to the same mass, you are given four cubes of the same mass. In each case, the mass of the cube is five kilograms. Now, even without determining its, its volume numerically, without putting it in the water, you can immediately tell which one of these cubes is most dense and which one of them is least dense. Remember that the density is equal to the ratio of mass per volume. All of these cubes have the same mass, which means that the cube with the smallest volume will have the largest density, and the cube with the largest volume will have the smallest density. So this would be the red cube would be the most dense, and the yellow cube would be the least dense. And you can also look at it and tell the density or compare their densities by putting all of them in the water at the same time. You can see that three of them sink and this yellow one definitely is least dense because it floats in water or floats on the top of water. This one, blue one, is interesting because no matter into which level you put it in the water, it will always float, which basically tells us that its density is exactly the same as the density of the fluid or liquid in which it is submerged, in this case water. And these two it's hard to tell which one of them is more dense by looking at how fast they sink, but definitely you can see that this green one has larger volume and the red one has smaller volume. 
but they have the same mass which means that the green one is less dense than the red one. The red one is the most dense of all of these cubes. Now in the last setting you are given five mystery materials. We don't know what these materials are. You don't know their, you're not giving their mass and you're not giving their volumes. But you're given a scale to find out. You can use the scale to find out the mass. You can use the pool again to find out its volume. The goal is to find out the numerical values for all of these five mystery objects. You have a table in here that gives you densities of various different materials and once you find the mystery materials A through E you can compare them and maybe some of these mystery materials are the materials in this table. Please complete the forum for this activity and include in the forum answers for all of the questions which are asked in the forum. The last part of the forum asks you to find the density of these five mystery materials. So don't forget to include your values of density in kilograms per liter for all of these five mystery materials.